In this tutorial, we'll see what is data serialization in Python. Data serialization is converting Python object to a file or other formats like JSON, YAML or XML. And data deserialization means converting other data formats into Python data types. Here in this example, we'll see how to read or write JSON file using Python. JSON stands for JavaScript object notation. In most of the API communications, we'll be using JSON data. We can use the module called JSON in Python for reading a JSON data or converting this into a JSON format. And by default, it is available in Python. These are some of the equivalent data types in JSON. So dictionaries are called object in JSON. List and tuples are called arrays. And string is string here. Integers are called numbers. And you can see the difference here. In case of Python, so it is capital T and in case of JSON it is small t for true and for false also you can see it is small f and none is null in case of JSON and when you are converting from Python to JSON we'll be using dump or dumps method and while converting JSON into Python we'll be using load or loads method and you can see the difference here dump directly saves to a file and dumps will convert to a string first and then we can write to the file we'll see this using some examples here i have a file called lab inventory this contains multiple lists and dictionaries we will try to convert all these data into json data so first we'll import json and I'll import this particular Python file so that I can use all these lists and dictionaries. So I'll do from lab inventory import everything. So here, if you look into this particular list, this contains list of device data. And here data is in Python format. It is capital T. Once we convert this into JSON format, this will change into this format. And first we'll see an example of dump. Dump will directly save to a file. So I'll create a file here using with open. And I'll call that inventory list dot json as data and json dot I'll use dump and here I can pass this particular list inventory list since I'm importing this here, so I'm able to directly use it, comma, data. So first we'll run without indentation. So once I run it, you can see here, I have a new file called inventory list. And if you see the data, this is in a proper JSON format and I'll try adding indent now let us open this file and now this is coming in with proper indentation and you can see the data types and same like this if you want to create for list of dictionaries I'll run it so this will be creating the list of dictionaries here 
and if you want inventory dictionary so we can create another file for that so here dump is directly storing into a file so now here we have three json file and now we'll see what is dumps so dumps will convert json to a string first so we'll do with open and i will call this lab data dot json and we'll write the data and this time i'll create a variable here json dot dumps and then we'll give inventory list and we can give indent equal to 4 and let us try printing st here and here you can see this has converted the data into json format and this is a string and if you check the type of it so this is going to be a normal string so this is no more a list and earlier it was a list if you check the type of inventory list this is going to be a list object and now they have converted this into a json and it is in a string format now if you want to write this to a file we can do data dot the normal write method and st and now this will write this content to the file in the lab data and this will be helpful when you want to internally convert data into a normal string the api data and send to api endpoint now we'll see what is load load reads data directly from the file so we'll open this particular file we'll do with open lab data dot json and we'll call this file and we'll put this into a variable output and json dot load and we'll load the file and we'll try printing this we'll try printing output here so this is coming as a proper list so this is reading this particular json data and using load this is converting it into a proper python list now we'll see what is loads loads will convert string to a python data format so first we need to get data in string format i'll comment the previous with open here we need to open the file and convert that into a string so i'll open lab data.json as file and 
here we don't need to use any json specific methods we can use the read method so i will call this json data equal to file dot read and if i print json data this is going to be a normal string because i'm using a normal read method here and this is still a string data which is json content now if you want to convert this string into python data format output equal to json dot loads and json data now we'll try printing output so now this converted the data into a proper list you can see the content here so these are some examples of how to read and write content to a json file